Okay, so now that we've gone over the basics of the pen tool and the path editing tools, let's get into exactly what types of curves and paths that you can create with the pen tool. First of all, you can make three types of paths or curves with the pen tool. You can make straight paths, you can make smooth curves, or you can make a combination of the two, which would be a straight path with a curve attached to it. In order to get a straight line or straight line shapes with the pen tool, first you simply click on different points in space in your document in order to get straight lines. And that's pretty much there all is to it in order to get straight lines straight line paths with the pen tool. In order to get smooth curve paths you click and hold down the mouse button and you drag out these control handles. What these control handles do is they determine the direction and the strength of the curve that you pull out. The great thing about paths is since these are mathematically based you can go back and edit the curve so that you can get it to fit exactly the shape and size that you want. This will come in handy for making selections around irregularly shaped items like people or cars, uh, different size and shape objects where you would need to have more control over your curves. That's why paths come in pretty handy when you're making selections. The last type of path that you can create would be the combo type of path with a straight line and a curve attached. In order to do that, we can start out by clicking in two points just to get a straight line, straight path. And then the next path or the next point we will click and drag to get a curve to attach to the straight path that we have. And this is the last and final type of path that we can create. You'll probably find yourself using this type of path the most often. The one that has the straight line attached to the curves. Most organic objects have some combination of the two. Um, ge ge geometrical objects, squares, um, triangles, tetrahedrons, things like that will require straight lines or some type of machines, computering, computer uh, information you would use the straight lines for. So nine times out of ten we're going to be using the combo and the straight path. So what are some of the things that we can do with the paths? Well you can fill them with colors, you can stroke them, you can use them to make selections of your images or you can turn it into a clipping path which is another type of a mask. All of these will be covered in some of our other lessons. For now the next lesson that we'll be getting to will be using paths to create a selection around an object. So I will see you soon for the next tutorial.